In this video, we're going to be using A&E Pamplemousse and the Above the Tie SSRH razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using A&E Pamplemousse, which is a beautiful grapefruit scent. Now that I have, have it lathered up, it is beautiful. It's uh, sort of herbaceous, spicy a little bit, grapefruit. It's got that citrus zip to it. Let's put the notes for you on the screen right there. It's green, fresh, herbaceous. You also get that good citrus zip from the grapefruit. It's really, really nice, and I appreciate it more having it lathered than uh, off the puck. I have it lathered here in their Captain's Choice bowl, and it was quite easy to lather. It was soft, but not too soft. And this one, I believe, is in the original Kaizen base, which is fantastic. To be honest, any of Peter's last three bases are phenomenal. The cost to you, if you're in the club, is a fair price. It is under $5 an ounce on our cost chart, uh, if you're a member of the Shaving Shop Club. So we look forward to using this today. And I think uh, Doug Bear recommended this to me last year. So Doug, you're correct on this one. This is a beautiful scent. I will be picking up the splash. The razor for today is the Above the Tie SSRH razor, which Above the Tie sent me this head to try out and I will be buying it. Uh, I have the H1. The Windsor H1 in the uh, regular matte finish. This one is brush matte. The cost is $160. And they do offer afterpay. So if you want to break it down into four payments, you can do that. Nice lather channels. Overall, just a really nice razor. And I like to show this once in a while. The Someone the other day asked about the, the grip on the uh, handle, the Atlas handle. If I just put my fingers like that and let the razor slide down, it twists itself. So... I've always found that fun to do. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm easily entertained, I guess, but the Atlas handle is really nice. I like it a lot, and I've been really enjoying this head. It's efficient, above the tie listed as eight out of nine in aggression. It's got a 0 .80 blade cap, and of course, it's stainless steel and made in the United States. And as always, if you're going to buy something from above the tie, use discount code IMCDB, and you can get yourself 10% off, and it helps the channel as well. So. If you do plan to buy something there, use the discount code, help yourself, save some money, and you help the channel too. So thank you very much if you do. So let's get into the shave today. A blade, by the way, is the Treat Black Beauty on its second use. We have about 24 hours growth, and we're going to mist the face here. This is just plain water, and we're going to get right into it today. Hope you all are having a great morning, or whenever you watch this, great night, whatever. Oh, yes, here we go. Great lather with A&E. You come to expect that. It is definitely a fantastic um, quality soap. There are very, very few um, quality complaints about A&E. Almost everybody agrees that the quality of the product is top rate. And the other day, um, Peter was talking about, you know, improving things and so on and standardizing and, and, uh, and I had made a comment in the club, you know, that in terms of jar, he was asking about the uh, the jars for the shaved butter, which are very, very nice, by the way. And he was asking if people would prefer that or something else, you know, just soliciting feedback. And I said, for me, the product is, is so good. Um, if, if we, you know, fix the customer service or, you know, not fix, but work on the customer service and fulfillment issues that you know, and get everything just professional, tight, I think it would really be excellent. And Pete responded and said, you know, he think he's, thinks he's got fulfillment uh, under control now. So so that being the case, I, if you order from a and &E, I hope you get, you know, you have a great experience. I know a lot of times um, when I post a video with a and &E, people will make complaints in that realm, but Pete has been working to fix it. And according to Pete, he has made some inroads there. So Hopefully you'll get better fulfillment and customer service. That would be fantastic. And because uh, the product is absolutely on point. I think for me, the only legitimate complaint um, that I saw was that fulfillment and sometimes customer service. Um, otherwise, you know, the product itself, the scents, the, it's fantastic. Almost no, no room to complain. They're very good price, very good value. So. A&E makes very good stuff. All right, let's get going with the Above the Tie, who also makes very good stuff. They're one of the sort of 
OG artisanal razor makers. Very nice, efficient razor here, by the way. So keep in mind, above the tie offers different plates. So the H being the most efficient offering they have. You can get the M, which is towards the mild side. The R is more towards the middle. And of course, this one would be the, the most efficient offering they have. It is quite efficient indeed. You can feel some a fair amount of blade. And I'd say their um, their listing of eight out of 10 in efficiency is probably right. I love this razor. It's really fantastic. Bub the Tie's been doing this for a long time. You know, they were among the first artisanal premium razor makers. And as I mentioned in my video the other day, they're one of the few premium razor makers that I've ever seen to actually find a way to decrease the price on their product. I don't know if I've seen anybody do that in the premium space, at least, because the standard price for this razor, or a razor very, very much like this razor, um, was $185 years ago. And now this one is 160, so that's fantastic. It's $25 less. Many years later, <laughs> like close to 10 years later. And so my hat is off to above the tie. Almost no one does that. In fact, in almost every situation, especially with premium razor makers, the price has gone up. Some have managed to keep it the same, and that is fantastic. But in a lot of places, it's you know, gone up or the starting price for razors for new companies have gone beyond that 185. And above the tie, they, they find a way to manage to um, make this razor available for 160, which is still a lot of money, don't get me wrong. But this is a premium stainless steel razor that's made in the United States and it's gonna be pricey, you know. Making stainless in the United States is not inexpensive. The only, um, the only folks who can do it rather inexpensively uh, that I'm aware of in the United States are um, uh, Yates Precision Engineering. They managed to, to do it, but almost no one else can do it for what we would call a budget price, you know, or budget friendly, I should say. But I think for 160, considering where premium razors are now, which are many times north of 200 or right around 200, but the ties done a great job with that. Blackland has also kept their uh, stainless prices, like for the Blackbird, pretty stable too. So hats off to them as well. But above the tie, still doing great things, you know, 10 years later. And uh, we had them on uh, Real Talk, you know, a month or two ago. And since that time, I've been trying a lot of their products and I tell you they they still make a great razor and they're still working to make new things too. I think if I were to change one thing about the above the tie razor, it would be the the pins that hold the blade down are pretty small. It's never been a problem for me whatsoever, but I would change that design to make them posts that are a little more you know, a little larger or maybe comes, you know, that's just personal preference thing. I've never had any problems with getting a blade in the above the tie razor of any sort. Man, the soap smells great. I'm yakking away about about the time, man. The, 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 the scent just hits me and it's fantastic. Scent strength on this I didn't talk about is right at uh, medium to medium high. This one, once you get it lathered, there's a good bit of scent on it and the lather is fantastic quality. Again, A and E quality is just superb. And recently, I've mentioned this in a few videos, um, Pete made the... Uh, the apple pie soap. He made 100 of those soaps and has been giving them away, like in the shaving shop club and some of the Facebook groups. So that was fantastic, Pete, to do that. That's, that's really awesome. Uh, not very many people do that. So thank you, Pete, for doing that. A lot of people have won those soaps. I think last I checked, he had given away over 50. And you know, how many soap makers do you know who just give away 100 soaps? You know, no cost. Um, to the person they gave them to. They pay shipping and everything. That that was awesome, you know. So he's just really thankful for 
people supporting a business and wanting to give back. And that's really, really cool. And I would also say that Pete, um, if, if we ever need anything, if there's a charity, he's always been willing to step in. I know when, uh, when Vita, the soap came out, he sent a set for me to send to Kim Gray, which was awesome. It's a very generous guy, Pete. And he has great products. There's no question about that. And we'll shave here across real quick on resi residual. <laughs> Got tongue twisted there. Very nice. This is definitely an efficient razor, so I won't have to do do as much. And uh, it's stainless, so you know it's got some good weight to it. Even though it's got a short handle, it still has some good weight to it. So if you like weighty razors, um, you know this one will fit the the bill. Also, you can get the Chronos handle, which is longer. They also have a Colossus handle, which is very long. That one's way too long for me. The Kronos is okay. I prefer the Atlas, but the Colossus is, <laughs> that's a big handle. I tried one years ago and I sold that one because it wasn't for me. And even then at the time I preferred longer handles. Now I don't, things do change sometimes over time. Your thoughts, your opinions on things change over time, your preferences change. And if they never ever change, I guess that could be a good thing. But for me, when I'm taking in information, I'm constantly evaluating. And, you know, I can find videos from, in some cases, as little as a year ago, where my opinion has changed on products. As I've had a chance to use more things, when you constantly take in information and you're constantly using things, opinions do change. So, you know, if you keep an open mind at least. Um, and I try to do that. And so the short handle here, which sort of I grew into, you know, it became my preference was something that changed over time. And so if you're brand new, whatever you're loving today, that might change. You might, um, you might start out and you love mild razors and then, you know, a year or two in, you start preferring more efficiency or you might just keep liking mild, um, but as you're trying things, there should be, you know, at times some change um, as you experience new things. And that, that goes for life too. My opinions on a lot of things in life have changed, you know, over the years too. Especially with, with everything that's going on in the world today, I think it's much easier to see the virtue in things and trying to be positive and even when, you know, negative things happen, trying to find the silver lining if you can, sometimes it's very difficult. But anyway, that's just a, a long drawn out way, way of saying be open-minded and uh, you might find that you love things that you didn't love before, so keep an open mind. Uh, I certainly have and believe me, a lot of my opinions has changed as a result. It was an excellent, excellent shave. Super nice, super smooth. Let me rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse, remove the soap, and then we applied our alum. No stinging, so that was a super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles that I saw. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel, which is magic because it's made by witches. I had an excellent shave today with the above the top SSR. H razor. Excellent razor. Um, above the tie, still making great razors today. They've been doing it for a long time. And again, I remind you, if you are going to pick up something from above the tie, use discount code IMCDB and get yourself 10% off. And it also helps the channel. So thank you if you do, but uh, only do that if you're looking to buy from above the tie. Uh, we also use A&E Pamplemousse, which is fantastic. If you like grapefruit scents, this is a fantastic grapefruit scent. I absolutely loved it. It was phenomenal. And of course we had it lathered in our Capsule Choice bowl. We used our AP Shave Co. brush and it's sitting in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we're gonna finish it out today with another A&E scent that is absolutely phenomenal. And it is the Undersea. This label is changing. 
by the way, so for those of you who didn't like the label, maybe you'll like the new one. Um, it kind of grew on me, to be honest, at first. <laughs> I wasn't crazy about it, and then the more I looked at it, I, it's going to be a sentimental one now. For me, I'm, like, I'm going to be like, bring back the old label, Pete. <laughs> I kind of like it now. It grew on me, so to speak. And man, it didn't take any time at all for this scent to grow on me. It is fantastic. I absolutely love it. This, for me, is my favorite aquatic scent of all time. Citrus Aquatic is beautiful. It's nice and stout. And uh, man, I love using it. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, sure shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.